Hello, I'm Mike Braddock and I'm a candidate for the Telco Village Board of Directors in the upcoming election. I'm running because I believe my background and management experience provide me with the financial, analytical, and communication skill sets to make a contribution to the board and the community at large. My focus will be on sustaining and in, uh, enhancing amenities and property values for all residents. Today I want to briefly discuss my background, my teleco history, and my areas of focus if elected to the POA board. My wife Carolyn and I became teleco residents in 2015. I retired in October 2014 from Marathon Petroleum Corporation as Vice President, Controller, and Chief Accounting Officer after a 34-year professional career, 27 of those years in management and supervisory positions. I had roles in financial accounting, tax, internal audit, and business development. I am a CPA. From a teleco standpoint, I have been a member of the Finance Advisory Committee since January 2023, where I have worked on the updated investment policy, and I've served as a consultant for the study on alternative financial systems for the POA. Most recently, I was a member of the Food Service Management Selection Committee, where we made a recommendation to bring food service management in-house. Within Teleco, I'm a member of the MGA, the HOA, the Pickleball, and the Computer Users Club. If elected to the board, areas of focus would be prudent financial management, proactive communication and transparency, and accountable, accountable organizational governance. Each of these I've discussed more in depth in the various candidate forums, be it the Conservative Club, the HOA forum, which is on YouTube video, and other discussion groups. I will be a proactive board member. I bring an inquisitive approach to information review and problem solving. I will seek to meet with each POA department manager early next year if elected to the board, and I will attempt to attend at least one of each of the advisory committee meetings annually. In closing, I simply want to urge all Teleco residents to vote in the upcoming election. And if you like my background and experience and believe I can add value, I would ask for your consideration, support, and vote in the upcoming election. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video today. Hi, I'm Ed Grolleman and I'm running for the POA board. My wife Joanne and I moved here in 2014 and since then we've been enjoying a lot of the amenities in Teleco Village, such as boating, golfing, the wellness center, other clubs, and our fellow villagers. I have over 40 years of technology experiencing working on large projects, uh, both as a technical expert and as project manager. Oh. Since, since then, I have worked on a lot of projects here in Teleco Village over my last nine years, such as uh, uh, getting better fiber internet to Kahiti. I worked with Monroe County, the POA board, and TDS Communications to get a $1.6 million grant. This saved Teleco Village over $750,000 to improve the internet access in Kahiti. This project was so successful, Monroe County and TDS came back to me and I assisted them in getting an additional grant of $16 million for Teleco Plains, Coker Creek, and Ball Play. Also, in the last six years, I've been involved in a long-range planning committee, two years as chairman. Since then, I've worked on two long-range plans, the 2019 plan, the, uh, the 22 update, two village-wide surveys, and the la master land use plan. Our recommendations from long-range planning were to record and stream POA board meetings, conference room scheduling, and a 10-year budget plan. Also, I've been working on the Kahiti uh, food Service Committee for the last six years. In doing so, we planned fund community events to increase revenue and assisted in getting better dining experience. This effort saved the Kitty Pub from being closed and we went from $80,000 of loss 
to a $30,000 a year profit. I, in the nine years I've here, I've worked a lot in the village with all the different committees, staff, and people to get a lot of projects accomplished in the village. If you need things done, I'm the guy that can help get things done in the village. I'm Ed Grolamond. I'm asking for your vote. Thank you. Hi, I'm George Luttrell. I'm a candidate for the POA board, uh, one of the two openings that's coming up this, uh, this year for this year's election. Uh, my wife and I are relatively new uh, uh, residents here in the village, but we really love it. And the things that we love are the amenities, the people, uh, the beautiful countryside and those kind of things. We really jo enjoy being here. Uh, my background a little bit is uh, um, when we got here, we got heavily involved with the whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we're Smoky Mountain Service Dog Volunteers. My wife does uh, Our Place. Um, uh, Litter Angels and so forth, and I got on the board of New Villagers as the Vice President of Communications. Uh, and an I'm on another board, another volunteer board, nonprofit, where I am the Secretary in, in charge of communications. That's important, I believe, to us here in the village because I believe the board can do a much better job at communications. So I've got that background. I have a Bachelor of Building Construction degree from the University of Florida. I put that to good use, hiring in with a construction company in 1974 and stayed with that company for 70, uh, excuse me, 42 years, um, doing everything from estimating uh, feasibility studies to startup and, and, uh, and maintenance uh, projects and uh, in several roles, the point being I uh, have extensive construction engineering experience. I think that's extremely important to you as uh, property owners here in the village because we want to maintain what we've got. And the way we maintain what we've got is we've got to have more technical expertise, I believe, on the POA organization. I believe I'm the guy that can do that. Um, uh, my strengths are communication, people, um, um, you know, I, I like people, I like working with people. I'm uh, very transparent and accountable. I tell a story, one of the projects I was on was in mainland China. The clients were a German company and a Chinese petrochemical company. We had a directorate made up of representatives from those two and our own company. If you don't think I was transparent and accountable working for a, Chin for a Chinese communist guy, uh, just believe that I was. But I believe the board needs to be much more transparent and accountable. There's a lot of things that we don't know that are going on that, um, uh, that we need to know. Uh, we also need to get a lot more input from the people, you folks, and I will be the guy that will keep an eye on construction of things like the Tenassi rebuild, the uh, infrastructure issues that we have, uh, and so forth and so on. Um, I'm all about you. I want to work for you. Uh, I'll make myself self available. I live in the Toqua neighborhood. Uh, uh, I'm going to look forward to a way to get people in Toqua come to me, ask me questions, tell me what they're thinking so I can bring that to the board. Um, I'll work with the uh, advisory committees uh, and make sure that whatever comes out of them get to the board and we have a good, robust discussion about that. Um, I'll challenge all expenditures. Um, in my experience, the way to control costs is make sure that we have good, tight uh, scopes of work and scopes of services um, and transfer as much risk as possible to the contractors and, and providers. Um, the same thing with the food service. I'm very interested in that for obvious reasons, uh, but uh, that's a new service and I've heard that we reduce risk by taking that on. That seems counterintuitive to me a little bit, but uh, the people that told me that I, I have trust in. So, uh, but I'm interested in those kind of things. And it's all about you keeping our amenities up to date because that's what keeps your property values up. 
And in so doing, that'll keep my property value up, and that's very important to me. So, in wrapping up, thank you for your time. Please consider me. I look forward to your vote. Now you got a hard decision to make which one of the other four to vote for for the other seat. Thank you very much. Thank you.